Here we are everybody. We are off to a great start today. I'm telling you we're gonna start Monday off great 728 728 what are we doing sailor? We're not going to Cabela's. We're going to school got two beautiful daughters here we're, It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great week. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming up and guess what? You all liked my video last night the night before because I skipped last night because guess what? I was tired. I was tired I, uh, maybe I'm a little hyped up because I drank some of my free range coffee this morning and it makes you sort of like a bald eagle. And the other thing is I'm pretty pumped. I like my new shirts. I like my new shirts. I like my new shirts. I'm not going to lie. I like them. Do you like, you like daddy's new shirts, Sailor? Yeah, she does. She likes them too. So that's all that matters. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Oh, Ellie Bay. Ellie Bay. What are you doing? All right. Here we go. It's uh, gonna get it started. It's 9:24 in the morning. I got the kids dropped off at daycare. I'm about to go in here. Been doing a little bit of business. Been doing a little meetings. I like doing my meetings sometimes in my in my in my car. You know, I feel like I can get a lot of shit done when I'm driving. I'm on the phone. I can I can get a lot of shit done. So I'm going there and kill a workout. And on it, there it is. On it. Yep. The place where. Uh, you walk in good, you walk out great. It's gonna be a great day. Gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go do a little bit of shooting afterwards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna hone in my craft a little bit. I feel like I need just a little bit of time on the range. I wanna, I call it range therapy. Not gonna be a long one. Nothing crazy today. Knives isn't with me. I let knives. Well, I didn't let knives. Knives took a day off. He needed a day off. Knives works 24/7, 365. Ain't no days off for him. No days off for knives except today. And it's still ain't a day off. I'm sure he's sitting at the house doing some shit. So um, we'll go in here and kill it on it. I'll get some hits for uh, some, some couple little shots for you. We'll get it going and that's it. <laughs> My favorite. I always kill it at the end. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So 30 seconds uh, skiing, hard as you can, 30 seconds rest. You gotta try to hit 150 meters. One more round. See it behind me? Yeah. Take your days off. We got a man like Lance Armstrong behind you. So here we go. We just finished it on it. We're getting ready to go uh, do some shooting. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna try my GoPro. Out. I'm not gonna lie. I want to see what kind of shots I can get. I would have more GoPros, but Knives has some freaking control freak syndrome about taking dang GoPros. And so I'm only gonna have one GoPro because I had it hid from him. So, anyways, we killed it on it today. We got a great workout in. We did pull. Today was a pull day. So, came in. I did a little bit of warm up. I did uh, six sets of three pull ups. I did it on the on the rings, getting that workout in. Uh, went over and then did a heavy deadlifts, five sets of five. Did it with 315. Wasn't that heavy, but I don't want to blow my back out right now. You know what I mean? And then I went over and did bent over rows, uh, 135. Nothing heavy. I'm not trying to kill it. You know, I'm kind of weak right now. To be honest, I lost some weight and so I'm a little weak. Um, and then after that, went did close grip pull downs. I did uh, four sets of 15. And then I turn around and finish it off with six sets on the skier, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. My goal was to hit 150. I think the first two sets I hit 170, went down to about 150, 155 on the next three. And then the last one I got 140, 145. So hey, it's all good. It's all good. I got to kill another workout. I got to see my great buddy Lance and John and Christian. I mean, you know, it's always great. It's always great to go in and just see everybody on it. So I got to start my week off. That's how you start a Monday off. Now I'm going to go do some shooting gonna test my gopros out and then i get, get a pack get ready for vegas got a big week out there so uh time hack is 11 13. Ah, so here we are we are here we are beautiful beautiful day in austin texas we're out here at the range we're at the onion creek gun club 
Uh, I'm gonna be shooting over here. And look, somebody has been having a lot of fun this weekend. I right, here we go. Got this new GoPro gear set up. Yeah, I know. It looks weird. It feels weird. It's all about that shot. It's all about that shot. Everybody wants to watch shooting on, on YouTube. So let's see if we can give them a little bit more shooting. Dang. Dang, do I look like Rob? Do I look like Rob? Rob Rob's a little bit cooler. He's got like the hard case and stuff. He showed me how to use it yesterday. So badass. Let's try this deal out. You know, what? What you know, look, I, I don't, I, there's a couple things I don't compromise on the range, and it's safety. I'm out, you know, I, even when I'm by myself, as I'm out here today, I mean, I'm not just doing this for the camera, I do this every single time I go. Look, I tell myself, hey, if I get hurt, I'm going to call somebody. I've got my med kit right here. I've got it laid out in the back of the car. It's a badass med kit right here. So, got my med kit, it's going to be right here. i got the back door open. Um, got my ear pro right here. I pro right here you know that, that's you, I, you just you you can you can cut corners some places but I'm telling you the place you don't cut corners is on the range with a weapon anytime anytime with a weapon you don't cut corners with safety you don't cut corners with safety whenever you're dealing with weapons so that's gonna be it um, basically I'm gonna load up here I gotta do my belt I got my belt I took my belt apart like an idiot the other day because I'm so stupid that sometimes you know look I know I'm not in this like I'm not I'm not I'm not very good in this tactical stuff I mean I'm not gonna lie to you this is a belt that uh the G-Co belt uh, I'm not you know I just I'm not really into the tact I mean I'm not gonna say I'm not into tactical stuff because I love it I've used it but I'm just I'm not very like uh, I'm just I, sometimes I just I'm, I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to the tactical side of it right I just like to shoot I like to shoot I like to I like to blow shit up. I like to have a good time. That's what I'm here for. I mean, that's the number one rule after safety. Safety first, and then second is have a good time on the range. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to fix my belt back because I took it apart for a dumb reason the other day. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that. I'm going to do a little bit of pistol shooting, and then I'm going to do some concealed carry stuff. I want to practice my concealed carry, knock that out a little bit. Because, I, you know, like I said, listen, I'm, I'm real big. I'm real big on... Can still carry, so I'll get to that here in just a second. Let me get my shit together. All right, so uh, I'm all geared up. Look, got my G code holsters on. My G code holster right here, I love it. Got my uh, G code mag holsters. I, I, look, I'm gonna tell you, I, like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here. Look, there's a lot of people out there. People ask me all the time, like, oh, what gear do you use? What, what, uh, what do you prefer to do in this and that? You know, look, there's a lot of people out there that make a lot of good gear, but I tell you what, there's not a lot of. There's not a lot of good people out there that make a lot of good gear. So what I'll say is, look, I, I, I carry the G-Code stuff. Um, G-Code's always been good to me. Scott out there, I mean, they're incredible people. They are people that you want to buy from. I love them to death. Scott's incredible. Um, and you know what? And honestly, they make badass products. Have I ever picked up every single product? No, I haven't. I have no desire to. Um, honestly, I like to wear product, good product, good product, badass product from good badass people. I don't care how badass your product is. If you suck, like there's a lot of you out there who do suck, um, and I won't name you because you know you know you're a piece of shit. But at the end of the day, I like to wear good shit. So look, I'm gonna put my eyes on. I'm gonna go over here and shoot, and uh, put my eyes on. Go over here, do a little bit of shooting, get a little action going, and. Uh, kick it off. I got 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes because I've been wasting a bunch of damn time out here talking on the phone.
All right, here we go. Empty. No reload. We'll do a couple reloads now. So I don't carry, uh, for, since you're listening here, I don't carry inseam. Uh, so I don't carry a, a mag, second mag with me all the time. So I'm just gonna, I'll do a couple mag changes as we go, but. And you know, the good thing about like when you're out here practicing, like you know exactly like where you're used to going. You know what I mean? You know exactly where you wanna, you know, where at on your hip you wanna carry it and things like that, you know? So it kinda helps you practice and readjust and get a little bit better too. You know, I think, you know, I mean, look, the dumbest thing you can do is, uh, you know, and, and you see me moving a little bit because, I mean, what are you going to do? You just going to stand here as he's shooting at you? I mean, no, hell no. You're going to be trying to get to cover, right? I mean, you're going to be trying to move and shoot and get, get to where you need to be. And so, I, I mean, that's why I'm like, you know, walk, move, try to try to try to move in different positions, things like that. Because, you know, when that when he comes at you, I mean, you're going to be trying to get to wherever you need to be. I'm not out here trying to be the prettiest. I'm not out here trying to say, damn, you know, I'm the best because I look the best or, or I got, you know, I got, I got the best technique down. No, no, no. But, but I'm telling you this, I'm hitting my target. I'm hitting it and I'm moving, right? I mean, that's what's here. Ooh, so that's a good time. I have to do a little bit of shooting. A little bit of shooting with my Glock. Got an RMR on it. Uh, Trigicon. I like it. I like it. You know, agency arms did a, let me see if I can get you, get you a good look at it here. Agency arms did a badass job on it, man. It was a. Uh, they hooked me up for sure. I love I love shooting this gun. I love shooting it. It's got a little red dot in it. Let me see if you can see it. Let me see if I can make it to you. See that red dot? I'm telling you, I it changes your point of aim. You know, I'll be honest, it, it does change your point of aim. Um, but I'm telling you, like, look, I'm I'm still I'm still the iron sights guy, right? Iron, you got it. If you can't match it with iron sights, you don't need to go to optics, right? I'm, I'm a big believer on it because at the end of the day, that can break on you. At the end of the day, that, that sight, batteries can go out, it can break, the glass can break, it can break on you, it will fail. Those iron sights, man, you better be able to use them. So, um, but I like it, I like it. You know, I think it's a fun gun to shoot. Um, uh, so I'll be honest with you, it's the only gun that I own that has, um, it's the only gun I own that has, or only pistol that I own that has an optic on it. But I like it, you know, it's got the RMR on it. Um, it's a nice shooting gun. Nice shooting gun. Uh, it's a nine millimeter. So I like nines. I stick to nines. I'm gonna be honest. I stick to nines. I like them. Ammo is easily accessible. Uh, recoil is is uh, recoil is not bad at all. And I look, the way I look at it is, is, is you get in that situation amped up where you gotta pull a gun, you gotta shoot. Look, I need more ammo. Now you all, you know, uh, I carry my old. Uh, what is it? What is it that you guys like out there? Um, I carry my old. 1911 <laughs> only only women pull nines oh well, okay whatever whatever man right right when you're out of rounds in seven or eight guess what ha, i'm gonna still be shooting with my 16 or 17 how about that how about that i'm gonna have more rounds so you know look it's just whatever you prefer whatever you're comfortable with at the end of the day and honestly honestly it's whatever whatever you're willing to practice with whatever you use the most whatever you shoot the most whatever you're most familiar with is what you're going to be the safest with and it's going to be what you're the most effective with and that's what matters that's what matters at the end of the day um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of work before i leave uh i just did a little bit of shooting i'm not out here to shoot a bunch of crazy rounds i got some with me but you know i just want to get out here and just brush my skill up look i come out at least once a month once a month i'm a concealed carry holder and i hate all these people i don't hate them look i love you guys for for being concealed carry holders being supporters of uh you know of 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 um, Second Amendment by all means but but listen when you're a concealed carry holder you have a responsibility you have a responsibility and an obligation to be proficient with the weapon system that you're using if you are one of these people out there I'm gonna get on my rant here if you're one of these people out there who lay your gun in your purse I'm not gonna cuss here I'm gonna try very hard to stay on the line 
If you're one of the people that lays your gun in your purse, you say, well, I got a concealed carry license, and I went there, and the last time I shot my gun was at that target at however many, uh, however many yards. Well, let me tell you something. Do us a favor. Go home right now. Right now. Go. Go take your gun out of your purse or whatever it is you got it in. If you don't shoot it once a month, if the last time you pulled it out and you shot it was when you shot it at the concealed carry class, hey, do us a favor. I respect you for going and putting the time into the class, but let me tell you something. You do not need to be carrying a gun, so take it out because you are more dangerous than the person who pulls a gun on you. So, uh, hey, that's it. That's it. Um, I love everybody out there who gets concealed carry, but there is a huge responsibility with it. And I'm going to tell you the other piece of it. The other piece of it is, it's not just being physically ready to do it, not being able to physically pull it out. If it's under your purse, if it's under your, if it's, if it's in a, I'm not just saying women, let me, let me fix this, because I'm not just talking about women, right? There's men out there. If it's just laying around and you haven't practiced, you haven't pulled it out of wherever you keep it at, if you haven't ran through scenarios, wherever you keep it at, then I'm going to tell you something right now. You need to get it out of there, whether it's in your briefcase, men, whether it's, in the you know under a bunch of shit whether it's just you know what or, or whether you carry it every day but if you don't if you haven't you know you haven't you carry it in a business suit or you carry ankle holster or wherever you carry it, if you haven't gone and pulled it and, and practiced with it in that suit or in that holster if you haven't gone and done it i mean even the clothing i'm telling you whatever clothing you wear if i'm wearing new you know when i'm wearing suits i come out here i'm telling you right now if i'm going to be carrying it in suits i come out here and I, I practice in it and that's what you have to do you have to practice in what you're going to carry in because if you don't then you're a liability look and i'm not somebody out there who's just doing this I, like i practice what i preach i promise you you can ask anybody around me if i haven't gone to range like i haven't been carrying probably for the last two weeks because i've gone a month without being at the range of practice and i just don't do it i just don't do it i don't feel right about it i think that you know I, i'm not going to be that that liability uh that's my commitment i made to myself maybe it's ever two months maybe it's ever three months but it shouldn't be more than three months i don't care who you are if it is more than 90 days and every time i switch like right now like the season out here like look i, I wear a coat no, i'm not i'm not wearing a coat it's nice out t-shirt jeans this is what i wear every single day what i wear every single day so guess what i'm gonna go practice right now how i'm gonna go every single day and that's just the way i do it that's the way i do it um everybody does it different but I, this is the that's the routine I believe in and um, look I just want to I just don't ever want to put somebody else in a bad position you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying there, there's a there's a lot of scenarios and I promise you I do what I call TDGs we did them in the military they're called tactical decision games you have to think of scenarios okay if I'm in this scenario what do I do okay you know what I mean and we can talk about those later so if you guys want to hear about those I'll do a whole video on it so you all just let me know in the comments but right now um, and then that's it because guess what I don't carry any more than two mags on me if you carry one mag on you then just do one don't, don't don't do a mag change right just be able to be proficient with that right that that's how you do it but that I carry two mags on me when I'm carrying concealed so I'm gonna go out here and do it you know it does me no good to carry two mags if I don't practice a mag change right I'm I, look, I'm just here with this logic 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 but listen don't ever let like logic get in the way of uh, a cool story you know what I mean Let's, let's just see. I, I know he's a good buddy of mine, and I feel like it's always the best, but I want to get permission. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, man. Hey, listen. So I, you're on video right now. I'm doing my vlog, okay? But I had to call and ask you because I didn't want you to get mad, but I want to do, like, I want to show him my new product the way that okay. you used to do things. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like old comedy style stuff? No, 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 not comedy. You remember how you used to, like, used to do something like... Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Can, can I bring, can I, do you care, do you care if I bring that back? Bro, no, you, you, you can use the bikini snap, the snap, the, the Man. product snap anytime you want. What, what can I call it? What should I call it? Let's make a new name for it because it's not bikini because I'm not going to be in a bikini. But, uh, what do you think, what do you, what do you, what do, you call you, it the, what do we call it? The freedom snap. The freedom snap. I don't know. What do you think about the freedom snap? I, you know, uh, anything with freedom in it is, is good for me to go to. You know that, brother. Dude, you're my hero. Okay, thank you so much, and I'll see you at SHOT Show. All right, brother. We're here, so let me know when you get in touch.
Thanks. All right, love you, man. Love you, buddy. Thanks, yeah. Yep, bye. Bye. Hey, that was Matt Best, okay? It was Matt Best. He told me I could do it, so we're going to do it. Hold on. Holy smokes, it worked! Holy shit! Oh, what do you think about my new shirt? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think about it? Come on! Look, uh, oh, hold on. Hold on, that's not it. That's not it. Hold on. Let's see if we can do this again. Whew. Okay. You kidding me? Again? This is my second one. It's my second one. I tell you what, I'm gonna start using these freedom snaps all the time. Hey, thank you, Matt Best. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. I got, there's not, I'm not done. There's another one. Holy shit. Another one. It worked again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I used to always think it was just movie stuff, but it's not. It worked again. This, this is my third shirt. Listen, make sure to go check them out. OwnTheDash.us. Listen, I got a lot more product than that on there, but these are the three new designs that we just came out with, so go check them out. Let me know what you think. Come on, get one. Wear it. Own your dash. Do it. So listen, so today was a great day. A uh, great day. I gotta go pack, get shot show packed up. I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing you all out there. Come on, if you're out there, hit me up, let me know. Let's hang out, let's get a beer together. Uh, I'll be staying at the Venetian, okay? So um, let me know. I'd like to see you all out there. Um, I hope everybody's had a great day. I hope everybody loves the vlog today. I hope you liked uh, the hunting vlog this week. And vlogs are only gonna get better. I love it, I love it. I love what I'm doing, I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a great year. It's gonna be a great year. I'm so excited, I'm pumped. Uh, I'm learning. I'm getting better at it. Hopefully, if I'm not, then you know you guys just tell me, hey, Dakota, you still suck. This is what you need to do different. But I love it. So make sure you go check out my shirts. Uh, and I hope to see you. Listen, we're all going to get together someday. We're all going to hang out someday. That's my goal. I hope we can make it happen. And um, listen, let me know. Go check out. Go check out my new uh, my podcast. Go check it all out. I'm doing it. I love it. I love that you all like it. I love that you all are supporting. It's great. It's great. And listen, no days off. See you guys tomorrow.